On this episode of the Turnbuckle, Scripps and Dijak make their NXT debut. MJF is currently having beef with Patty Pimplet, and Sting and Darby Allen are set to team with the Great Muda for his retirement match. Folks, we're hitting a V trigger into some wrestling news because it's time for the Turnbuckle. <laughs> The masked man, who was the former Reggie from the main roster, faced Guru Raj in his debut match. He picked up the win with a molly go round after the match. He took out a card with his name on it and placed it on Raj's chest. Now, when he first came out, so there was a lot of like different thought processes that I was having as he was coming out. My first thought was, this is scripts? Okay. He did like the weird art project on like the one side of the wall and then left and then decided, oh, right, I don't want to be caught. And then he sprayed the camera. You know what I mean? So, it I, I listen I am all for Reggie coming back that's another thing too as he was fighting um I slowly started to real it was first of all it was the flipping he did a lot a lot a lot of flips you know what I'm saying a lot of you know a lot of a lot of ins and outs you know what I'm saying that was a perfect reenactment by the way as this was happening I was like oh it's Reggie nice and the crowd picked up on it too because they started chanting Reggie as he was like doing his thing and which is funny because it's like should we know who that is should we pretend like we know it's reggie should we pretend that it's not reggie but like we want to chant his name and also like give credit because we know it's reggie but like should we pre like you know what i mean like when a baby hands you the phone like i we know that no one's here do we just do we pretend that's like i don't know and then Dijak debuted he came in around the uh the main event with uh wesley and um carmelo hayes for the nxt north american championship and he wesley was like all right i won the match then like a am i crazy it was like a cage so there was a cage on the graphic or whatever and then it opened <laughs> and then the, the, the graphic like reset and i was like uh, okay and then the camera just like cut over and dijack was in the ring so i was like oh all right then i guess you could you could have just had him attack him but whatever and then he did i don't know what the finish is called is it called the feast your eyes i don't think it's called the feast your eyes i don't actually know but he did the finish and i was like all right let's go boys that's nice so dijack made a return and so reggie made a return reggie came back and he was sort of like in a bit of a warm-up match you know what i mean a guy who's new and that sort of stuff and can take a loss and everything dijack came back and he was in the main event scene you know so i mean if there's any and also it looks like he's going after the north american championship which is good because i like when they do that because you don't want to like shove him into the main event like okay you don't want to shove him into the world title scene a bit too fast you want to make him go through a uh you know the first phase where they contend for the minor i talk about this all the time so that doesn't matter no Next, we're going to talk about MJF and how he has beef with Patty Pimblett. Maxwell was challenged by Pimblett when AEW journeys to England in 2023, with MJF claiming that Patty's quote dollar store Conor McGregor talking will from Stranger Things looking ass would not even last two seconds in his world of professional wrestling on Twitter. Unlike you, I'm 100% natural and I'm also 100% original. Unlike you, your dollar store Conor McGregor talking will from Stranger Things looking ass wouldn't last two seconds in my world. Hashtag better than you. See you in London. MJF like, I guess, I don't know. He put a uh, thing on Instagram, and then Patty Pimble was like, hey, I'll fight you, and then I'm sorry, I thought I got bit by something. I don't know where this type of stuff, like, goes. I never know where this type of stuff goes. I'm always, like, looking at this, and I'm like, okay, well, what exactly is, like, the end goal? Unless I'm, the only thing I can think of is Patty Pimblet gets in the ring, but, like, I don't really know what that's going to entail. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what we're trying to, like, do here, you know? And the same thing with, like, uh, Cargo and Bow Wow. Like, if you saw, I'm sure everybody's seen the video now. Why do I feel like I talked about it? Anyway, I'm sure everyone's seen the video where, like, um, her and her baddies are, like, one of them, like, threw popcorn and everything like that. So, again, so apparently, you cry at the time of this recording, that's going to be revealed <laughs> tonight. That's great. Um... I don't right, but I don't know what the end goal is. I don't know, like, I'm because I assume it's Bow Wow getting into the ring with Cargill, but like, unless it's like a mixed tag match, I assume that's where it's going. That's the only thing I can assume is it's it's going to have some type of culmination in a wrestling ring, but I don't know. Listen, all right, <laughs> okay, I am here for the drama, and I will not lie about it. All right, so 
I'm happily waiting on the sidelines with my bag of popcorn to see where this is gonna go, all right? Finally, we're going to be talking about the great Muda and how Darby Allen and Sting are set to team with him in his retirement match. According to Pro Wrestling Noah, Keiji Muto will compete in his final match as the great Muda on January 22nd. He is currently on his retirement tour. This will also be Allen's first appearance in Japan. The fight's, uh, the fight's opponents have not been revealed. Now listen, now listen, now listen. I have to preface this, okay? I love Sting. I love Darby Allen. I don't know any. I don't know anything about the Great Muda. Okay, he was before. He was before my time. All right, I'm only 26 years old. All right, I've not been kicking around on this earth for very long. All right, and I don't really know a whole lot about the Great Muda. There's just something about the fact that Darby Allen and Sting have just been doing this type of deal for a bit long, if you ask me. I just feel as though that this type of thing has run its course. But that's just me. Okay, that's just me. I'm not saying that Sting needs to be in the world title picture, but what I am saying is that Darby Allen needs to be in the world title picture. I'm not saying that Darby Allen has to like turn on Sting and like, you know, shove his bat down his throat or anything like that, but like, we, we, I feel like we've seen the tag team action enough, and Darby Allen has not been in any prominent storylines in a very long time, and it's been... I feel like it's been at least a year. I'm gonna just go ahead and reel it back a little bit and say it's been like eight months uh, by the longest, but Darby Allen has not been in any title picture in a while. He was at full gear, and that is something. You can say whatever you want, that is something. He's been at, he was at full gear, but he, he hasn't contended for the TNT Championship. He wasn't even in the World Title Eliminator Tournament. Like, he wasn't even thought of. You know what I mean? So, I feel like this type of stuff is great, okay? Listen, he is in a retirement match with Sting and the Great Muda, all right? He is doing perfectly fine. I just feel as though, okay, he would be doing a lot better if he was in a title picture of some kind, some type of, you know, something, he could, even if he does, I'm not saying he has to like, again, he doesn't have to step on anybody. He would be a great challenger for MJF, a great challenger, because they have history. I don't think MJF has beaten him yet, and he could put that on his belt. You know what I'm saying? So, this is, again, fantastic, all right, perfect, let's move it, you know what I'm saying, you know, one of these, I don't know, let's, let's get it moving along a little bit, that's just me, all right, that's, that's all I'm saying about it, all right, MJF is fantastic, but let's, let's start getting, the, let's start getting the ball rolling, but that's just me, what do we talk about, uh, Reggie and Dijak appeared, appeared, yeah, they just <laughs> popped into the ring and then went, all right, see ya, um, no, they made their debuts, I'm so happy for the man, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, Dijak, we get it, all right, you're like six, seven, cool, you can, you eat eyes or whatever who cares okay i'm happy for reggie i really am because he's one of those guys he's one of those people that i forgot about and when he came back i was so i got that warm feeling in me because i was like bro triple h was like we're not gonna forget about you man you were in that you were the weird somewhere you know what i'm saying you're talented all right we're not just gonna leave you here okay so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plop you in somewhere where you're gonna fit nicely and it's gonna be great the, ow, the mask is a bit but that's just me, okay? And Dijak, we we know. We already know. He eats eyes, all right? Um, MJF is eating with Patty Pimblet. Again, I don't know where that... Uh, same with thing with Cargill and Bow Wow. I don't know where that's going to culminate, right? I'm here for, I'm here for the drama. I'm Listen, okay? I'm here for the drama and the baby mamas, all right? I'm not even going to lie to you, okay? I'm all for it okay i've got the i've got the, the the little seat you know what i'm saying i'm i'm ready for this but i don't know where it's gonna go so we just gotta wait and see and sting is doing fantastic okay shouts out to the great muda sting shouts out to darby darby allen is doing great have i been saying stings i hope i haven't he's got a lot going on but let's let's start moving it a little bit more you know what i'm saying let's, let's start getting it moving but that's just me folks that's gonna do it for this episode hopefully everybody has a wonderful tonight and a wonderful tomorrow and as always big hug Big hugs, big hugs all around.